Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Q111 tripod. So this is a tripod made by or branded by Zome. I paid $33 for it on AliExpress. It took about three weeks for shipping. And as you can see, this is the tripod. Now, as you guys saw, the tripod does ship with a pouch or a carrying case, whatever you want to call it. I would say that the pouch is a pretty decent quality. Now, as you can see here, you have these very hard rubber feet, which rotate around this ball joint and they are removable, which is kind of nice. Now, moving up, we have aluminum legs. I would have to say that this is probably the best part of this tripod are the legs. So the legs feel nice and tough. And then you have the belts that you see there are also very high in quality. The tripod legs open up very smoothly and they are connected to the base with plastic connectors. Now this is probably the weakest link of this tripod are these plastic connectors that are connected to that lock twist right there that you guys see. Now these are very low quality or at least they feel that way. I mean, it's really too bad that they didn't make this part out of aluminum. So again, these right here are the tripod leg buckles. They really do hold the legs into place. So as you can see here, I'm just gonna open them up and I'm going to extend the tripod legs. So moving up, we have the Zome logo brand right there. And you've got the Q111, that's the model. Now here's the tripod almost fully extended. So as you can see there, the head is not fully extended, but the base, the sorry, the legs are fully extended. And that's about four feet. And with the head fully extended, that's about 56 inches. So it does really get very tall. As you can see, it's almost, uh, I'm gonna say it's almost. It's, it's about chest height to me, and I'm 6'1". Now something I will say about this tripod is even that it has a lot of these features that you see, they're not polished. So the panning from right to left, from down to up, or even the elevator, it's just very jerky. It's got the very stutter feeling to it. It's not smooth, if you know what, if you guys know what I mean. So I actually took some footage of what I'm speaking about, and you can see that stutter with that footage when I'm trying to pan it from right to left or even up down. It's got a very jerky type of movement. You can't get that really smooth, fluid movement if, if you guys know what I'm talking about. So here's some footage so you guys see what I'm talking about. So as you can see you get that very jerky very stutter movement. Now if you're very careful and you move it very slowly then it will you'll get a smooth you get a smooth pan there but it's just very hard to get it and then you have that sound. You have that very it's the it's the plastic rubbing against the plastic. And I've loosened the bolt the most the most that I could possible so and now here's some footage of panning up and down and as you can see it's a little bit smoother there's less friction there so I'm just going to show you a few more seconds of the panning right to left up to down so you guys get a good idea now so I, I know I paid $33 for this tripod but I was expecting something a little bit more fluid than this now I could definitely look past the fact that most of the components on this tripod are made out of plastic, but the fact that this tripod is not fluid, it's not smooth, that, that really bothers me. I can't really look past that because I have a cheap $10 tripod that has smoother and more fluid movements than this. So if I would have known about that, I definitely would have paid an extra $30 and gotten the more expensive tripod, which I will show you guys. And the two main reasons why I would have paid an extra $30 to get the more expensive tripod is number one, the fluidity in the movements, and number two, the all metal design of the tripod. So I'm definitely not saying that this is a waste of money because it definitely does get the job done. But if you are looking for something a little more high quality than this, then it's definitely worth it to pay an extra $30 and get something with more fluid movements and just in general something that's built to last a lot longer than this. Now one more thing I will mention is do you guys see that knob there be uh, below that knob that I'm holding on to? So that's a all plastic knob and it's very very flimsy. So sorry one more thing I did forget to mention is the quick release plate that you guys see there. It's very convenient to have. 
Now again, this is a very basic tripod and it pretty much has everything that you need within a tripod, but again, it's not polished. And some of the main components of this tripod are plastic. So in terms of longevity, I don't know how long it's going to last because the main components are plastic. But for 33 bucks, can't really complain too much. But in hindsight, if I would have known about this beforehand, I would have opted in for the more expensive tripod that costs about 60, 70 bucks. But if I was taking simple shots, you know, the steady shots and just time-lapse videos, then I guess I would get something like this, especially if I needed the height, because this tripod does get really tall. It extends to about five feet. So they do sell this tripod on AliExpress and Amazon. I'll have links to both of them, but I definitely recommend getting it off Amazon in case you're not happy with it, you can just send it back. Because if you did buy it off AliExpress, it would be almost impossible to send it back without spending a fortune, of course. So anyway, that's going to be it for this review. Um, hopefully you guys did find this video helpful. If you did, please do leave a like. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next video.